Welcome! In front of me I have Emporio Armani connected and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the crown button. Keep holding it until you see the Emporio Armani logo on the screen and once you see the logo you can uh, release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on you should see this screen, basically it should say tap to continue and it's gonna cycle between different languages. So let's tap on the screen, like this. And once you tap on the screen, it should open the list of languages. And you can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen. Now, find the language you like to use on your watch, select it by tapping on, on, the, on the language. So basically, for example, let's say I want to select the English United States, I just tap on it like this. Once you select the language, tap on the check mark. And then you should see this screen. It, should, it tells you to download and install the Wear OS application on the phone you want to pair your watch with. So we need to go to our iPhone, make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on search right here, then tap on the search bar and type in uh, Wear OS and tap on search. You should see this application on the list, Wear OS by Google. Tap on it, then tap on the Get button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the Open button to open it. In the app, you should see this screen. Now tap on the Start, start Setup button. You can agree to, this, uh, to send the diagnostic reports to Google if you want to by checking this box. I'm just gonna tap on agree right here. And then we can tap on enable and tap on OK. And the app should start looking for the nearby devices. And as, as you can see, it found our watch. So let's tap on it to select it. Tap on pair. Confirm the pairing by tapping on Confirm. And here we can connect to the Wi-Fi network basically on our watch. If you want to use some features like um, updating apps, calendar weather and stuff like that, it's recommended to connect to the Wi-Fi network. If you don't care, you can skip this step by tapping on Skip. I'm just gonna connect to one, so I'm gonna select this network enter the password and then tap on join to connect to the network. And once you connect to the network, you can also uh, copy a Google account from your phone to your watch. If you want to use Play Store or Gmail and stuff like that on your watch, uh, you need to do it. If you don't care, you can tap use Wear OS without an account. I want to copy the account, so I'm gonna tap right here on this arrow to open the drop down menu. As you can see, we have quite a few accounts, uh, Google accounts on this iPhone. I'm gonna select the one I want to use by tapping on it. But if you don't have any account added on your iPhone, you will see this button right here, add another account or add account. And you can tap on it, add a Google account and use it. I'm just gonna select the one, then tap on continue as the account. Now we need to enter the password for our account, so I'm gonna tap right here and enter the password. Then tap on sign in. Here let's tap on continue. And if you want to agree to the terms, or rather allow the permission for the calendar, uh, you can tap on OK to allow the permission. If you don't care, you can tap on don't allow. Basically this uh, permission is required to use the calendar on our watch. So if you want to see not or get the notifications about the events and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can tap on don't allow. Next, we have the notifications. 
So if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on the watch, you need to tap on continue and tap on allow. If you don't care, you can tap on don't allow to keep it disabled. Next, we have uh, basically a permission to sync the contacts from your phone to the watch. So if you want to, for example, receive the messages um, or reply to them and stuff like that on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can uh, deny it. I'm just gonna tap on OK, but you can tap on don't allow. And next we have the uh, location permissions. If you want to use features like um, tracking with your watch, like for example, activity tracking and stuff like that, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can keep it uh, denied. I'm just gonna allow it. And once you're done with the permissions, the setup will continue. Once you see this screen, tap on done. And then you should see this screen, basically the device page for your watch. And your watch, uh, you should see on the watch you are set. And then you will see the watch face. And after a couple of seconds, you will see the tutorial pop out. So if you wake up the screen, as you can see, we have the tutorial right here. And you can tap on uh, learn more. And to go through the tutorial, simply swipe from each direction like that. this, press the button and press and hold on the current watch face to open the watch face menu. And then you can tap on the check mark. And once you're done with the tutorial, your, wa your watch is ready to use. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.